So once again, you are welcome to the episode 17 of uh, this uh, program. Uh, once again, my name still remain Odutola Isa Abiodun DTM, your great uncle on this channel. And um, from the this episode seven, we will be going into the topic what we call the feed formulation. That means how to calculate crude protein and how to alternate for cheaper crude protein for your feed formulation. So this, I think, this is a very uh, very one of the most major functions of feed uh, formulation that means how to calculate your crude protein as we know the most needed uh, uh, nutritional uh, nutrients that fishes needs to grow very well is uh, what we call the crude protein and uh, we are talking about now how to calculate for the crude protein that means this is how to know the ranges that your fishes will know we do know when you are doing your feed uh, formulation so welcome, welcome once again to uh, the episode 17 and uh, before we go more deeper into this uh, uh, topic for today, note that we are still on feed formulation and uh, we are talking about how to calculate, the key word is how to calculate your crude, uh, your crude protein for your fishes, that means the digestible crude protein for your fishes, that means the tabulation on how to do your calculation based on the ranges I just uh, mentioned. So. Once again, my name is Steven Udutala Isa Biodon DTM, your great uncle on this uh, channel. And uh, let us just, just go on a short uh, break, so when you come back, we we'll go more in-depth into our great topic we'll be talking about today. You are welcome uh, from uh, this great break and uh, I think we are talking about uh, how to calculate uh, your crude protein for your feed formulation. So on this topic I will be going more deeper into, we are started going more deeper into what we call our food formulation and feed concentration which you need to hold your pen and paper now and to judge some important factors of what we are talking about. Uh, Today, this chapter will explain how to calculate your uh, crude protein. That means digestible, digestible crude protein manually. Uh, we we have what we call the manually, and we have the computation of uh, calculating your uh, feed protein, uh, your crude protein. And from the manual, we have different uh, tabulations of calculating this. We have uh, a different type of how people calculate their own, but. Uh, to me, I will be talking about a uh, very easy way of calculating yours that any layman can do. You will not tax your brain. You know, I normally give you things that are very, very cheap and easy to do. So, the feed formulation uh, process will start uh, from 2 mm. Uh, we'll be starting from 2 mm because uh, 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 I'll be giving you from 2 mm. 2 mm uh, start from the standard of grow out standard for feed uh, formulation for those people doing go out so we'll be starting from 2 mm to the go out stage so note that 2 mm local feed can pick uh, from the they can that means the local feed from 2 mm can pick from what we call the post juvenile and uh, and juvenile for the uh, foreign feed that means uh, from the uh, branded uh, floating feed so but from the local my uh, local machines this can only be done uh, post juvenile will do the job so the calculation will be will let you understand how effective and how nutritional local feed formulation is good for your fish note the cost of material provided below are just for examples yeah because i don't know how much uh, they are selling uh, like GNC in the north because I'm in the south. I don't know how much they are selling in the east. Yeah, uh, so uh, this is just an example. So when you get it lower in your locality, you can use it the more, and this will help you because I'll be telling you and I'll be giving you an example on how to do, do your alternation too, as well, how to alternate your uh, crude protein too, as well. So I'll be giving that. Uh, again today uh, the, I said once again that uh, 
the calculation will let you understand how effective and how to uh, how the nutritional local feed formulation is good for your fishes note the cost of material arranges and are not uniform from any part of the country i said it earlier they are not uniform from any part of the country and uh, from our 2 mm uh, and from our 2 mm feed from our 2 mm feed i will uh, want you to uh, put it down or i can put it up here for you so for those of us who want to learn this uh, formulation so i'll be giving out a formulation for 2 mm which we'll be using to calculate our uh, crude protein yeah so i'll be dashing out the formulation now for 2 mm size of feed so for 2 mm size of feed i'll be using what we call the fish meal i'll be using the uh, food fat soya for your local feed production that means your sinking feed production and uh, i'll be but if you are the likes that you want to use it to produce that means the uh, extruding pellet you want to let it to extrude you want to let it to float please don't use fufa soya go for soya meal go for soya meal so where i'm putting fufa soya you put soya meal and the gnc that means the granite cake we are using the granite cake too for this formulation and uh, depending for those of you who uh you want to use it for uh for an extrude uh, into an extruded machine and you want it to float uh, don't go for go for the shard uh gnc granite cake the shards gnc has a little less seamless uh, oily the oil in in it is not that much than the uh, other thick uh, uh, i think i will put it up here the other thick uh, uh, gnc the other thick gnc is very very thick and it has a lot of oil in it so i think the other thick one is this and the other shard one is this the other shard um, uh, gnc is like a flakes it doesn't have much oil so you we are going to use that too as well we are going to use what we call our flour waste and if you can get it uh, if you can get it you can use a flour waste it's because it, 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 it things are very very expensive now unlike before that we use the raw flour we use the raw we buy bags of flour and we use it but now the flour is highly expensive and so we can try to search for the waste so you can search for a flour waste you can search for um um, wheat waste yeah you can source some people do use a uh, wheat over uh, for their formulation uh, because of the fiber i'm little uh, i'm not that comfortable using it because of the much fiber this takes and uh, because uh, this uh, helps for people producing uh, floating feed but if you are producing floating feed you can use the uh, the likes of the wheat over but just small and please if you can add up what we call add in what we call the um, the flour will help and if you are using a very good uh, uh, pulverizer that turns your material into powder yeah this will help too as well the pulverizer will help you grind your maize into powder maize too is good so for the energy and the stuff and maize is free from oil so you can use maize too you can use what we call for i'm talking about those of us who, who want to use it make it float so you can use what you call your rice brown you can grind your rice there are some rice brown not rice over we have what we call the rice over rice over looks like uh, the wheat over but the rice brown himself have a lot of rice you see a lot of rice mixed with the rice brown and if you can get a pulverizer that can uh, powder it very well for you like uh, to powder you are good to go yeah you are good to go and again indomie indomie is expensive in the market and for likes of us who can access it very very cheap there are some indomies that are free they are not oily but there are some that are highly oily you can see them physically if you touch them or in the, the way you see them you'll see that some some has oil that will be even the too much oil the wasted indomie so if you get those ones for the for people that are producing 
sinking feet all this material are very good for you and because of this material they are a little bit oily they have more uh, of a, a digestible crude protein they have more of a fatty object uh, they have more of energy which will help those people that are using floating feet so that is why sometimes it is at the advantage of floating feet you can't compare it with the sinking feet and uh, with the um, those of us using sinking feet the advantage of the sinking feet is more 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 higher than the uh, floating feet because when you are using a feet so, uh, when you are using what we call the sinking feet you can use any material you wanted because all these materials are rich all those materials we are running for when you are using when you want to do your floating feet they are very very rich but in your floating feet you can use them so there's a lot of advantage for you in doing the floating feet note again if you are using an extruder extruder does not mean all what you are producing should be uh, extruded should be floating so there are some extruder that produces sinking feed as well so when your fishes maybe when they are getting to 4 mm and you need them they are picking 4 mm and you need them to give you more weight you want them to give you uh, more uh, growth you can use these materials and produce for them the sinking feed which will come out from your uh, extruder and this will help your fishes uh, very well so I, i'm talking about the carbohydrate and the energy source that you can use now in order to alternate note we'll be talking about alternation but now i'll be giving you the formulation when you have not alternated so for cheaper material so the formulation i talked about that i will use i said once again i'll be using the fish meal i'll be using the fufa soya i'll be using uh, the um, the gnc that is the granite cake i'll be using the the flour the waste flour or the waste uh, wheat i'll be using what we call the premix i'll be using what we call the dcp or the bone meal and i'll be using what you call the vitamin c there are a lot of um, uh, things you can use to as well but because of uh, uh, the tabulation i'll be just this alone solves a problem or else you you thought your fishes are dying or you want to prevent from prevent them from any sickness then you can start adding some multivitamin for them and and like the likes so but what i'm telling you now are the basic for feed uh, formulation so these are just the feed for the original feed for your fishes uh, for for the formulation for your 2 mm so after this we'll be going into the uh form what we call the alternation but i just listed the material needed so i'll be listing the kg per 100 kilo because i'll be talking about 100 kilo for now so from this end i will once again uh, be saying uh, bye bye for this uh, um, episode thank you and god bless you all